Fong, I just want to ask you, what do you think uh, makes your beer unique? You said that you firmly believe that a world-class beer can come from China. So explain for us that concept. Well, uh, chi Chinese consumers have been used to the concept of beer for many, many years. And uh, now craft beer has become more and more popular among uh, Chinese consumers. And uh, because China has such a rich uh, history and existence of cuisines different, uh, from different regions, and people are so uh, used to uh, getting different food. Now they, they, have, they have contact with different uh, flavors of beer, so uh, it's, you, can, you can see people getting more and more interested every day. So talk about some of what you use in your recipes that make your craft beer different than other craft beers in other parts of the world. And what have you experienced since you began brewing in China? Uh, well, we, we've seen very positive things since we started brewing in Beijing. Uh, what we are trying to do in greatly brewing it is to use lo local ingredients from the basic ingredients of malts and uh, hops and uh, special ingredients like, you know, what we use every day in Chinese cuisine, different spices and different teas and uh, uh, with, uh, with Chinese stories uh, to name our beers as well. So uh, from the beginning, you, we, uh, when we started brewing, most of our customers are expats or like Chinese uh, students that have traveled abroad that have uh, uh, learned what craft beer is about. And uh, now we have seen an increasing number of local Chinese customers that are very enthusiastic in uh, coming to our brewery and seeing the ingredients that they, they're so familiar with already but never thought about, oh, those things can be put in beer and, and uh, uh, make into, into like very um, different beers. And uh, uh, it is just all very positive. So what would you say are the challenges for a smaller brewer like uh, Great Leap Brewing? And how do you get locals there to try your beer? How do you uh, get the word out and grow your brewery? Uh, since the beginning um, of uh, Great Leap Brewing, we have always insisted on using Chinese ingredients and, and uh, brewing beer and name them in, in Chinese historic figures. and. Uh, uh, and stories. So we never, we never really put out advertisements. We never, uh, we never have to shout. Um, customers come to us because um, in the beginning we, we see a very interesting progress as when like first customers coming, um, they have a taste of a beer. You can see this like, hmm, I don't know how to understand this thing. And uh, they walk away and you can see the same customer coming back in a matter of days uh, because their friends introduced them to craft beer, to Great Leap, and then they come back and they want to try it on their own. After that, you can see this light turning on in their eyes, like, now I can see why it's different. So the third time the same customer shows up in the brewery, uh, this, this customer would have brought many friends of his. It's, it's kind of like, you know, look what Look at what I found. It's such a such a great thing. It's, it's a secret I can only share with my uh, close friends. So this is all. That's how we built our uh, customer base, and uh, it con it continues growing that way. So a lot of word of mouth. Uh, you know, we've seen huge beer companies buying smaller brewers out here in the West. Are you seeing some of that in China? And what is your take on that? Uh, there are an increasing number of breweries in in China as well. Um, it has craft breweries have been like growing in the states since the late uh, 80s, early 90s, and in China we see the same thing. There are um, many breweries that uh, that have started since Great Leap started in 2010, and uh, uh, you see a lot of them paying attention to uh, details to the quality of beer. And uh, we have uh, formed uh, uh, or, uh, industrial organizations to uh, help each other, and uh, uh, craft, brewer, uh, craft brewers tend to, you know, uh, get to know more 
uh, brewing technologies every day, and uh, there's a lot of uh, collaborations with uh, overseas breweries as well. Yu Feng in Beijing. Please send us some of your beer. We'd love to try it. Thank you so much for joining us from Beijing.